Hey everybody, I'm doing some grilling and chilling today and as you can see I have a, about a five six pound rib roast here that we got at the local grocery store and I've seasoned it up with some W sauce which is a Worcestershire sauce however you want to say that Baron Burton's America's Worcestershire sauce I use that as a binder and then I'm using some of this uh, Bushmaster barbecue brawler it's a brisket rub and it's a veteran owned company I haven't used it before so I'm giving it a try out I put some seasoning on this already I forgot to turn this camera on so uh, so anyway so we got it all seasoned up and we're getting ready to put it on the grill well hey everybody I got the big green egg fired up about 225 degrees I got this beautiful rib roast that I'm getting ready to put on there I'm uh, doing a little uh, engineering feat because I'm using the probe off of the pellet grill on the big green egg because I don't have a drip pan small enough to fit in uh, my grill here so anyway so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this thing on here And there it is voila a couple hours at that temperature it'll be good and ready to go well I'm back and put some more of this W sauce on here just to spritz it a little bit roast is about 75 degrees Man, it smells great. I'll tell you that much for sure. It's kind of like painting the house. All right, got it all painted up and uh, gonna let it come up to temp and then we're gonna sear it. Well, I'm back. The roast is rested. The au jus is ready. The horseradish sauce is made. And I'm gonna sear this puppy. Right now the grill's at about 650 degrees, so we're gonna leave it on there a minute on each side. And we're off. So if you ever want to try this out, just so you'll know, it's in the cookbook. I'm hungry. It's called Poor Man's Prime Rib. Now, I splurged and bought a bony and prime rib, but you can go and you can buy what's called just a rib roast, which is much less expensive, and you can cook it like that. So this is just searing this, going to bring it up to a little bit hotter temp. I've got a, a, some friends in the house that I'm getting ready to feed and a couple of them like their meat with no pink. And so I'm probably going to be back out here um, adding another piece after I slice it to the grill. So, so anyway, got plenty of smoke going on. You know what's happening now. Ooh, baby, I can't wait. Ain't nothing like burning meat. You're not going to get a sear like this on the pellet grill, so, but I love the pellet grill. It's just not going to do this type of procedure. Well, we're almost ready to pull this thing off, take it in the house and cut it up. All right, so we got the rib roast. Check that bad boy out. So I'm going to slice off of them. I got these bones here. I'm going to use these and make tacos for our friend Teresa because she likes rib roast tacos. If you haven't done that, oh baby, get you some rib meat like this, beef rib, even a short rib, and uh, get some pickled onions and make a horseradish sauce and slice some cucumbers thin get your tortilla shell, warm it up, dice this meat up, make it real fine, put it on a taco with some horseradish sauce. It'll knock your lights out. So I'm gonna cut off a hunk of this 
because we got some friends sitting right here, Bill and Sarah Pavlor and Sherry sitting there. I told them to be quiet. And um, and we're going to, I'm going to cut off a hunk of this, but Bill, he wants no pink on his meat. How in the world do you eat prime rib with no pink? But I'm going to make it happen. So anyway, so we're going to see what this, uh, what this looks like. And then I'm going to take a bite of it. And then I'm going to turn this camera off. I'm going to eat a whole bunch of it. Check it out, boys and girls. There, It's pink. <laughs> what? It is pink. So anyway, that's we're just giving Bill a bad time, but... We gonna have prime rib here in a minute. And Sherry's mac and cheese, which is in the cookbook, it's under Margie's mac and cheese, because that was my mama. And Sherry got this recipe from her. And so we are gonna do that up big time. So anyway, that's what I know.